Uh, obviously, uh, it's a disappointment. Uh, we thought there would be enough support for this legislation on the Hill. We're very concerned about the markets. Remember that the crisis that we were facing, that we were trying to fix, still remains. Uh, so the president will be meeting with his team, and we're going to try to determine the next uh, steps in this. And what might those next steps be? Uh, we'll have to see. Well, he'll get uh, advice from Secretary Paulson. Uh, we'll want to hear the views of Chairman Bernanke and other economic officials. We'll also want to be in touch with congressional leaders and get their views as well. Tony, do you believe that you can salvage this plan? Is there any way to go back, take another crack at it, add something to it, subtract something from it? We think that the, the mechanisms in this plan were the best to deal with the crisis that we are facing. Uh, so the core of this plan that was outlined, we think will solve the problem. It was big enough, substantial enough, and then hit the target for what we were trying to do in terms of the credit markets and our economy. So uh, the core of this plan, uh, we believe, really needs to get done to give the Treasury Secretary the tools that he needs to prevent uh, our economy from slipping. A lot of people are talking right now about who dropped the ball. House Republicans just pointed to Nancy Pelosi. They, they blamed her for poisoning the environment. They said she had, a, had exhibited a failure to lead. What mistakes did the White House make? Look, I think there's uh, what we're dealing with here was a very difficult situation. We tried to convince enough members that the meeting was uh, critical, needed to get done. We talked to a lot of members, the president, the vice president, and others did. But it's a complicated bill. Uh, we want to make sure that people understand the crisis because it does need to be fixed. You said in the briefing today that part of the problem was we in the media describe this as a Wall Street bailout, and you say it's not that. Well, I don't think there's any question that the labeling this of a, a, as a bailout for Wall Street executives uh, makes it difficult for people to support it. There's no question about that. I think that's apparent to everyone. But that's not what this is. This is to deal with a systemic problem that cuts across our financial system and affects every American. So to uh, leave Americans with the impression that their tax dollars were going to uh, pay off or uh, uh, Wall Street executives uh, probably wasn't fair. Didn't, you know, made the, the, the challenge that much steeper for uh, certainly members to vote for it and the challenges that we had in, in communicating it. We're going to continue to communicate on what the facts are here. And the facts are is that uh, America's credit system, its, its method of delivering money to uh, individuals, consumers, businesses who need it, is broken and it will be broken until we take the steps to fix it. Tony, soon after this vote failed, the stock market plunged some 700 points. At last check, I believe it was down some 535. Do you think that is going to help you in persuading members of Congress that something needs to be done? We never, uh, you know, wish to see a, a, a decline in the markets, and it's not something that we would want to see now. Uh, I don't know if people should use it as a scorecard. Uh, there is a the, the, the problem that we've been talking about is is in our credit markets, and Americans are feeling it already. If you talk to small businesses across the country, they're having trouble getting credit. There have been some companies have had trouble getting overnight loans to be able to make their payrolls and to ship their goods. Goods, that's a problem. If we don't have that kind of efficient credit delivery system in this country, our economy grinds to a halt. That's something that nobody wants to see. What do you say to members of Congress, and just in conclusion, who said, you know, part of the problem was this administration has cried wolf once too often. They pointed to the president saying there were definitely WMD in Iraq. We're in a crisis after 9-11. You have to pass the Patriot Act. And a lot of lawmakers really regret the votes that they cast. Kathleen, we have a problem here. I know lots of people want to talk about the past. We're talking about an actual crisis here. It's not just the administration saying it. You're seeing it in the markets.